Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and I thought for a change I want to talk about another refit today and it's a refit for a ship that I really like I must say although I'm not using it for grinding or my battles at the moment because I have much stronger ships but it's a really nice one and that's the ISS Jellyfish and I want to talk about the USS Constellation refit for the ISS Jellyfish. But before I get there, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel and also click this little bell and the notifications so that you will be informed when there's a new video or an upcoming live stream. And despite my accident, I'll try to resume the live streams very soon. I will not take part in the carnival events anymore because I can't walk. But nevertheless, um, we quickly go to my station and in this case I take the ship hanger again to go to the skins and the oops no that was the wrong one it's quite sensitive here um, there are tons of ship skins but also the um, USS Constellation skin for the ISS Jellyfish I know the ISS Jellyfish is not always that easy to get on this server I got it really late I must say but it is quite nice that is the constellation um, that probably got in a lot of trouble because you look at it it's completely um, torn apart but it might be that uh, the um, ISS uh, so the the Empire wants to conceal something with that you know the constellation was pulled into a parallel universe and uh, the Empire and the ISS Jellyfish is an is a Empire ship. The Constellation skin for the ISS Jellyfish is an epic one. So you need 120 shards to get it. And I will get there in a second how you get it. But as usual, there are two information buttons. The first one says the refit can only be applied to the ISS Jellyfish. So like uh, most ship skins or all the ship skins, it's for one certain ship class only. And it doesn't affect any others. And as usual, your jellyfish must be in the dock to um, apply the refit. And the bonus, though, is always the same. It's a permanent buff. And that means when you unlock it, you have the buff all the time or the bonus from, from this refit. No matter if you put it on your ship or not, the, the bonus is there. And, and that's quite a nice thing because for other ships there are two or more refits like for example the nova i guess there are three uh, ship skins for the nova but uh, they all work once you unlock them in this case the bonus is plus 50 percent to the ability of the iss jellyfish against hostiles yeah what is the ability of the iss jellyfish against hostiles is the question then and in this case uh, we quickly go to the jellyfish Dum, 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 dum. It's a bit slow at the moment, but that's the usual IS, uh, not ISS, iOS problem. And um, it's not getting better at the moment. I had some technical issues yesterday for one of my German videos. So um, you couldn't see it, but it crashed a lot during that. So let's have a look at the jellyfish. I mean, I have it and now I have 34 more blueprints. Um, when I tried to get it, it didn't go that fast. But there's the ship ability. The ISIS Jellyfish gains an additional per uh, percentage damage bonus at the start of every combat round. And this bonus stacks with no limit. Um, if I remember correctly, it starts with 5%. Um, but I got some research and stuff done. Or I'm totally wrong now that it's 15%. But nevertheless, um, this is the ability that gets another 50% bonus with the um, USS Constellation skin if you unlock it. And the jellyfish is a funny thing. You know the jellyfish itself, the, the normal one you get very early in the game, if you're lucky, um, and uh, invest some money, I have to say, because I never got it for free. Um, but it is the... Um, imperial version from the other universe and uh, that's why it's so much stronger than the first jellyfish that you get in this game the 
Shipskin, you sometimes can get in events, but you definitely can get it in the Amalgam Refinery. And you know there are uh, several refits, but there's also the ISS Jellyfish refit. I, I still haven't got it, but I will get it over time. I just need uh, more of those Shipskin Shard Trackers. I don't know what it is. This time it is really hard to get them. If I uh, use the, the Amalgam uh, Recruit, um, in the past I got much more of this stuff than I get at the moment. It's always so limited. Even if I own t uh, open 20 boxes, it's just 400. And it could be thousands, but it's just uh, a few hundred every time. And so um, I need to open the 20 chests six times and you know that uh, I need 9,000 of those shard trackers for it and I got uh, three and a half thousand so um, it will take a little bit and I just uh, don't get it partially because uh, there might be something else coming up that I suddenly need something else first so I save it until I have the full one and uh, with those um, shards then you can unlock the ISS jellyfish refit. But um, as I said, in the end, I will do this. But I, I do love the jellyfish. And uh, I one, uh, once in a while fly around with it when the jellyfish brawl is there again because we have it at the moment. And that's the nice thing because we also um, have a mat event today when I'm filming this. So tonight I will uh, need a lot of material for um, my last attempt to get Trip Tucker. And so the Jellyfish Brawl, um, or the ISS Jellyfish Brawl, only works with it, um, was very helpful. You see that I got a lot of um, Explorer parts with it and a lot of uncommon refined gas. And that's why I love the ship any, already. Even if it's the only reason to get the ship, that is a very good reason to get the ship. Um, if you haven't seen my video on the Jellyfish Brawl, it's in the event playlist. And of course, I did that immediately yesterday because of the Matt event today. Um, I not tear up, but at least level up my um, or get another component for my um, Corina tonight when the Matt event is finally on. And that's another <laughs> advice, by the way. Um, one of my alliance yesterday was celebrating tearing up a ship and uh, unfortunately forgot or didn't get it that there's every Saturday during the battle pass at the moment there is a met event. And so um, save your material, and with this I mean gas, ore and crystal for those met events where you get um, officer shards usually for the newest officers in the game and don't spend them in between because you need loads of them if you want to um, fully unlock these officers. And uh, that is the reason why you really should save it and not spend any in between. Because this battle pass, once again, like the ones before, every Saturday we have the MET event, in this case for Trip Tucker, and uh, I'm not spending a single piece of material in between. Except there was another event recently that they made us spend even more in, in a five-day event, and that was quite mean by Scopely. Um, that's why I don't have trip. If I, if that event wasn't there, I would have him from from last Saturday already. But I will try this uh, Saturday. So today, when I'm filming, um, to get him. So advice: don't spend material outside of material events. If possible, don't spend um, Armada directives outside of Armada events. At least the the rare and and epic ones, and. Uh, the same applies to a lot of other things. So with many things like um, fleet commanders and uh, armadas and materials and artifacts and Borg uh, cubes, I usually don't use up any of this stuff outside of events because at the moment all those events regularly come up. And even the shipyard directives for the Monovine we recently had an event where you needed uh, to do those shipyard armadas. So um, that's always a thing to keep in your mind. But if you want to add something to uh, the topic of this video, because uh, I know that I have a lot of viewers that have a lot of experience as well, then please write a comment under the video. I'm always interested in your thoughts on the topic. And if you have questions or video requests, please do, do so too. 
And if you just want to say hi and where you're from, I'm a curious guy and would like to know where all the viewers from all over the planet are coming from. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.